why do I have a rack of clothes behind me? Well, if you just saw my last video on dapper outfits, then you already know. If you haven't, go watch it. Um, this is going to be my part two, all about hair. Um, specifically curly hair and vintage styles. Yikes. So when I YouTube all kinds of vintage hairstyle tutorials, I find magical things. But it doesn't really cater to curly hair. I find things like wet sets overnight, curling irons and heating tools, brushes, and we don't do brushes with curls. So all of that can be actually a little bit damaging. So curls are really unique because they have texture, they have, naturally have a little bit more volume, and we can use that to our advantage for curly, you know, for vintage styles. I'm not a hairstylist by any means, and if you're looking for authentic, if you're looking for authentic vintage hairstyling, this is not the place. This is just kind of something to get you close, um, but keep on watching. super style right here. Use what you got and worst comes to worst, pop on a hat. Hats are the best way to kind of, if you're having a bad hair day, you want to be kind of vintage inspired. These are the best. They get them in packs at the beauty supply for like a couple of bucks. They go with everything. Rainbow colors, super comfortable. And they add a little bit of vintage flair. I think they're cute. And they kind of go with a little bit of the 20s flair. You can even put a little bit of, you can put like a brooch here and go with a flapper style really easily. So, one style down. You can also do all kinds of hats. I know I have bangs and that kind of, um, goes with a little bit of a vintage look, but if I didn't have bangs, I mean, it still is a little bit of a vintage look. If vintage styling is super daunting, accessorize. And I have a bunch of accessories right here to just show you that that's your best friend. You can style a little bit, but accessories are the best way to kind of fill in the gaps, so. Um. Okay, so the second style is um, inspired by Dita Von Teese. This one's really, really easy, and I guess it's just a take on a on a regular bun, um, which of course is always an option. But you don't want to do a regular bun because that's why you're here. You could always do a regular bun, but if you're watching this video, you're like, I'm gonna step it up. Cat, leave me alone. You might need a hair elastic and just a couple bobby pins, and that's pretty much it. So what you'll do is take all the hair on top of your head and just kind of move it towards the front, similar to if you're sleeping with a pineapple. I'm going to leave my bangs out, but of course you can put all of your hair in. got something. Is something that's pretty cute. It's not perfect, obviously, and you can make it really perfect, but that would be optional. Okay, so one thing about curly hair um, is that it does hold a lot of volume, and you don't necessarily need to tease it like I've seen in a lot of um, vintage hair tutorials. Actually, teasing curly hair could lead to a lot of breakage and damage, um, so Oftentimes, if you put your hair in a bun, a curly hair, if you put it in a bun or put it in something, it kind of stays um, just because of the texture. It kind of has a little bit more grip. So um, what something that you can do uh, with curly hair 
that's kind of vintage inspired is twists and there's a ton of variation that you can do with the twists. So one, again I'm going to leave my bangs out if you do not have bangs, disregard. So I'm just going to start twisting from here and picking up all the pieces around my ear and then I'm just going to stop when I get to about the back of my ear and then I'm just going to clip it. These little clips are really nice if you have um, thin curly hair like me because sometimes bobby pins just don't want to lay flat. <laughs> and then um, I'm just going to hold it there for now and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So now for the magic. So what I'm gonna do is kind of puff up those pieces. And this kind of has the same effect as teasing, but a whole lot less work. So what I mean by puffing is I'm just gonna push it forward and it kind of creates like a puff. And then I'll clip it forward and clip it in place. And you can see the difference. Look at my bangs on. See, flat, puffed. And we'll just do the same thing. And you can totally um, leave your hair like this with an accessory, of course. Put a flower. Call it a day, that's super pretty. Or you can actually um, roll up your hair in the back, do like a tuck roll or a bun, and then that becomes a nice little updo. So there's tons of variations that you can do with these um, twists. This is going to be a really bad... Um, That's that one. And I think this looks really elegant. You can do this with a lot of different eras um, for Dapper Day or just for any kind of vintage inspired look or even like a wedding and a night out. It's really nice and simple and to get the hair off the back of your neck because this is hot. Okay, so for the next one, it's going to be similar to that twist, but I'm going to actually twist all the way around my hair. So this is going to be another one that's going to be great for kind of all different eras. Um, and really really easy to do. I'm actually going to include my bangs in. I'm going to start very similar to like I did the last one.
I think this is so pretty. It's, you know, you can fix it a little with bobby pins, any pieces that are sticking out. And it just, it's very simple. It can go for 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s. And it's just very simple. It gets everything up and out of your way. And you know, it takes no prep time at all to roll it all around. And you can add so many different accessories to this. Like nice little flower crowns. They look really, really pretty with these. Yeah, this is a nice spring look. It's very similar. It kind of reminds me to like a milkmaid look. But if you're not good with braids, the twists are really nice. Because I'm, I'm not very good with braids. My hair is very thin. Um, so, it doesn't quite like the braids. Prefers the twists. And I think it just looks so pretty. That is one of my favorites. Probably definitely gonna do this look this year. It's getting hot. It's getting hot out. The last one is probably one of my favorites and it might be a little bit of a cop out, but that's why we're here. Because um, we don't want to straighten our hair and we don't want to have to, you know, we're trying to make it easy on ourselves. So, this is Egypt. She's a dear friend. <laughs> and she only cost me $10 at the beauty supply. So we get along great. And um, I think these are awesome. It's a drawstring ponytail. So it's, you know, it's a lot easier to uh, deal with than extensions, it's not clip ins or anything like that. All you have to do is put your hair into a bun and you just kind of. Uh, Attach the clips. It's got the clips. You attach the clips on over the bun and then you tighten it with the little drawstring. Pull it. I like to secure it with bobby pins on top. And then you have a nice ponytail. Um, you really can't go wrong with that. It's synthetic hair. It's not going to frizz on you. You don't have to touch it up. You don't have to worry about it throughout the day. Um, it's South Florida. It's hot. Like, all you have to do is kind of match your color and texture. Um, or if you want to slick down your, your roots or anything like that, just to make sure it blends a little bit better. Of course, you can get straight hair or something like that, but I don't know. I just like to want curls because we're curly girls and no one has what we have. So. I like to do that. So I'm going to kind of show you a look that I would probably do with this. Like a high pony, like something 50s. And I'll leave my, my bangs out to show how they blend. This is not my closest match. I have one that's a little bit closer match, but those it's kind of like my afro pony, which is not really what we're going for with this. So I'm just going to put my hair in the tightest, tightest little bun that I can. The smaller the better because then you'll see the, the ponytail over it can kind of get a little bulbous. Just get a little teeny tiny little bun. Alright, I'm gonna just take the little prongs and put that right over. drawstring and secure it. I used to wear these for dance and cheerleading and all kinds of sports stuff because these do not come off. Like you can wear these on rides if you plan on riding rides in Dapper Day or any kind of events like or just being out in the town you want to wear these on a night out like these do not come off. Like the drawstring is tight and then you secure it with bobby pins also. It's not coming off I promise you. Like someone can yank your ponytail and that's just not coming off. And I did these like with all kinds of dance activities. So that's why I love them and they're so inexpensive. And you can find these online and eBay and stuff but the quality is, is much different because I don't know they're just coming straight from China and 
I, just, just go to any, you'll see, your local beauty supply, like, you know, elegant beauty, you, you know, you just look, local beauty supply, even Sally's has them for, but they're much more expensive, and, um, they just look so cute, I love them, I don't wear them enough, but, it's like I said, it's not my perfect blend, because, you know, these are a little bit more like waves, and my hair is definitely ringlets, but, listen, she looks cute, okay, and then I'll just put a little scrunchie on top, Gotta go through the whole thing. And I think that's, these are great too to throw on top. You can do some kind of a scarf look because it kind of hides the seam. And how cute is that? This is such a cute look for a 50s look. And this I actually just got at H&M literally yesterday. And it's perfect for Minnie Mouse. But you can wear this on a night out, okay? Look like, <laughs> all right, I'm with my hair back and forth. I'm with my hair back and forth. But this is so cute, I think, for a nice little vintage look, kind of like a sock cop. But and then you're still your hair is out of your face. It's a little heavy, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but if you have longer curls, it's no more than um, what would be your real curls. Um, on your head so that's kind of my last hairstyle for you um, these are very easy and I hope even if these are not quite what you're looking for um, it can give you inspiration for other looks uh, it doesn't have to be hard like vintage styling as I said is all about the accessories they're kind of the, the cherry on top of uh, the hot fudge the whipped cream the sprinkles everything like vanilla ice cream is great by itself but kind of needs all that extra <sighs> sparkle to make it a star so um yeah that's pretty much it thank you so much for watching if you like this video give me a thumbs up and of course subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye